हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदा दीप आय हॉस्पिटल एंड फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली इंडिया एंड इन दिस कॉमेंटेड वीडियो आई विल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ ट्रॉमेटिक कैट ट्रैक सो दिस इज अ केस यंग जेंटलमैन अराउंड फोर्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी इयर्स ऑफ एज एंड ही हैज सफर्ड ट्रॉमा इन दिस आई अराउंड फिफ्टीन ईयर्स बैक एज द पेशेंट कैन नॉट फिक्स ऑन द लाइट what i am doing is that i am taking the center of the limbus while marking the ccc and as you can see here it is a white cataract and there are some anterior capsulars or i would say sub capsular fibrotic bands you can see and uh, the other eye of this patient has a plus 1 error for distance and uh, he is in already has to use presbyopia glasses so i decided to Uh, go ahead with a extended depth i will in this case but of course with the explained prognosis because i don't know how the retina is in this particular patient now the idea during capsulorexis is to use a good heavy ovd so that uh, there is no extension of the ccc and i'm trying to just go around these fibrotic bands very carefully and uh, if there is any resistance at the fibrotic band i want to use the forceps uh there is also another way to uh remove this subcapsular fibrotic band but i think in this case it was not needed the capsular axis was slightly decenter which i thought so i tried to enlarge it on another side but uh, it was already almost closed and if you go back and see the video at the start you find that i centered this capsular axis around limbus using the ccc marker because with mature cataract it's difficult for the patient to fix on the light so it's difficult to place those ccc mark uh, around the visual axis nucleus rotation was done and then uh, we started off with peco and remember this is a post traumatic cataract so we have to keep on watching for any capsular issues any weak zonules so i am very careful here uh, what i am doing is simple trench and divide you can see i am using just 50 cm of bottle height for doing that and once the nucleus is divided i am going to aspirate it out so i am using bevel sideways and using ozil you can see i am using many very minimal energy and mostly it is uh, aspiration which is working and uh, as i move around and take out all the pieces what i notice is that there is little amount of fluid which has gone in the burgess space and that is has started pushing the posterior capsule anteriorly so while doing cortex aspiration i am further a uh, very very careful watch for the capsular movement or bag movement here because sometimes after removal of the nucleus the bag might crumple in the area where the nucleus are weak or sometimes during the cortex aspiration we might catch hold of the bag because the nucleus are weak in that area so i am very very observant here not using very high uh, aspiration all the time just uh, very 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 gentle aspiration under the cortex as you can see uh, i am using the foot switch control to have lower vacuum underneath the anterior capsule and try to uh, engage disengage those cortical fibers under the uh, anterior capsule and uh, remove them slowly you can see some fibrotic plaques uh, underneath the anterior capsule there but i don't want to touch them at present because sometimes they are strongly adherent with the capsule and uh, trying to remove it excessively might uh, pull the zonules so i am going to put a capsular tension ring here because uh, i want the long term stability of this particular iol as i observed some fluid going into burgess space there might be some zonular weakness uh, there because of trauma as well so i want this capsular tension ring to support the bag and uh, bring those anterior and posterior capsules uh, quite closer to each other and now i am implanting a extended depth of focus iol here 
you have to be very careful to know what is the exact orientation of the IOL. This is a plate haptic IOL, so I want to be careful to push it in the back. So you can see that I'm using viscoelastic cannula to push the viscoelastic to deepen the anterior chamber and then push the IOL in the back. And last part is to do the aspiration of the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber. And uh, in this plate haptic IOLs, uh, we have to be very careful to remove the viscoelastic from the bag as well. So what I do is I generally gently nudge the IOL to one side, uh, go underneath the IOL and try to flush out the viscoelastic from the bag. Uh, as expected, the CCC on one side is slightly smaller, but uh, I think the CCC is well covering the optic all around, so I don't want to disturb the CCC any further. And this is the way I put wash out all the OVD from the bag. So uh, overall I think it was a good outcome. We'll be looking forward to further retinal examination in this case. In all uh, traumatic mature cataracts I think we have to explain to patients about possible retinal issues and also sometimes the post-traumatic glaucoma can start uh, years after the initial trauma so that's the end of the surgery just checking the intraocular pressure is okay and there is no leakage and that's the end of the surgery so do send your videos also to our website quickotraining.org.in and do submit to my youtube channel for more such videos thank you so much